y'all, Shannon Hicks with the William F. Lehman Public Library, and I'm back with another Real Talk story time. Listen, this book is one of my very favorite books ever. And I know you're thinking to yourself, Shannon always says that, but for real, this is one of my favorite books. We have it to, available to check out here at the library, but you can also get it on our digital platform, Hoopla, in ebook form. Isn't that great? I definitely think so. The title of the book is If You Come to Earth, and it is by Sophie Blackall. She wrote it and she illustrated it. I want to read you a little bit from the inside of the book because it'll tell you exactly why this book is so special. For everyone on earth, especially the children, especially those I met in Rwanda, India, Bhutan, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Australia, and the USA, especially Mrs. Greta's second grade class at the Brooklyn New School, I promised I would try to make a book about all of us and the planet we share. This is it. So guys, I know a lot of us are at a time of year where we're having new beginnings. So this is sort of an instruction manual for living on this earth. So I think you're gonna love it. Dear visitor from outer space, if you come to earth, here's what you need to know. You can find us near a big sun and a tiny moon and a bunch of other planets. Ours is the greeny blue one. The green and brown bits are land and the blue stuff's water. People mostly live on the land in big cities and small towns and tiny villages or just in the middle of nowhere. We live in all kinds of homes. in all kinds of families. There are more than seven billion people on earth. That's a billion with a B. We all have bodies, but everybody is different. Except for my friends who are identical twins, they look the same, except for Mustafa's mole. Inside our heads, we are usually thinking. You can't see our thoughts, thank goodness. But sometimes we show our feelings in our face. Even if we don't feel like it, we get dressed every day. We wear different clothes depending on what we do and where we live and if it's hot or cold. There's lots of different weather in the world. Some of it's good and some of it's bad. Wherever people live, we usually have to go someplace else. There are lots of ways to get there. I'm a kid and kids go to school to learn stuff, so we'll know what to do when we're grown up. Grown ups do lots of things to make the world work. I want y'all to see if y'all can find Beyonce on this page. But when people are not at work or at school or sick or asleep, we get to do whatever we want. Whatever we are doing, we need to eat when we are hungry. Some of us have more food than others. We all need food and water to survive. We get water from the rain, which flows into little streams and big rivers and all the way to the sea. You can't drink the sea because it's too salty. The sea looks empty, but actually it's full. Fish can swim, but they can't walk. Most animals can walk or swim or gallop or hop, but they can't fly. Some birds can swim and walk and fly. So if I had to choose, I'd be a bird. Birds can sing, so can whales and people. People make all kinds of music on our own and all together. Some of us who are deaf talk with our hands and faces. Some of us who are blind read with our fingers. If we are blind, we can imagine colors as shapes and sounds. 
These are the colors you need to paint everything in the world. Some things are part of nature. Some things are made by people. Some things are big. And some things are small. Some things are invisible. Wind, invisible cloak, ghosts, gravity, electricity, the smell of roast chicken, old socks, frangipani, wet wool, sound waves, germs, all those things are invisible. Some germs can make you sick. So can eating a woolly milk cap toadstool or breathing in smoke or getting spat on by a slow loris. Sometimes people get hurt by accident. Sometimes we hurt each other. It's better when we help each other. And y'all know I love this page because where are we? In a library! Babies are not very good at anything. Kids are good at lots of things. Grown-ups can do just about anything until they are really, really old. But by then, the babies are grown up and can help. Older people are good at telling stories about the world when they were young. Kids are good at making up stories that haven't happened yet. There are lots of things we don't know. We don't know where we were before we were born or where we'll go when we die. But right this minute, we are here together on this beautiful planet. If you come to Earth, you can stay in my room. Love, Quinn. P.S. How many eyes do you have? Are you small or big? Do you have any pets? When is your birthday? Is it always dark where you are? Are you going to visit us? My friends and I want to know. The end. Oh my gosh, y'all, I love this book so much as you can probably tell. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or at our website, laymanlibrary.org, where you can learn all about us. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see more of our great content. If you click the bell, you can get notifications for all of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And like I always say, keep reading, keep thinking.